Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problem number 139. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 139 that we are about to do is very similar to problem number 138 and the one before that we did number 137. If you have watched 137 and 138, you should be able to do this problem on your own with ease. In that case, what I would like you to do is, after I read the problem to you, what I would like you to do is, pause the video, solve the problem yourself, after, after I have read the problem to you, solve it yourself. Once you have solved it, then compare your work, resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Alright? Here's, here's the problem. We are told that we have two people, A and B. A and B, we are told, begin a game with equal amount of money, just like 138 and 137. When A has lost 5 eleventh of what he began with, when A has lost 5 eleventh of what he began with, at that point in the game, we are told that B has won $6 more than half of what A has left at that point. Whatever money that A has left at that point, B has won $6 more than half of that amount. Question simply is, what did they start out with? What were the initial amounts? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself. So here we go. We have two people, A and B. Let's pretend that they start out with, they begin with, X dollars. X dollars for A and X dollars for B because they start out with the same amount of money. And then what happens? We are told that A loses 5 eleventh of what he started out with. He loses 5 eleventh of what he starts out with. This is how much he lost. Well, if he loses 5 eleventh, he starts out with X which is 11 eleventh. If he starts out with 11 eleventh and he loses 5 eleventh, which means he must have left 6 eleventh. This is how much he has left. Don't confuse the two words, left and lost. This is how much he has lost. As a result, this is how much he has left, 6 eleventh. And we are told at that point in the game, we are told that B has won $6 more than half of what A has left. A, what A has left is this. What A has left is this. So B has won half of that amount, which is half of 6 eleventh x but we're not told that b has won half of what a has left a has left this we're not told that b has won half of what a has left we're told that b has won six dollars more than that six dollars more than that he hasn't won this much amount of money he has won this amount of money plus six more dollars that's it we're done this is the amount of money that a has lost now i'm going to get rid of the negative sign here because otherwise it's going to confuse us this is the amount of money that A has lost. This is the amount of money that B has won. And since these are the only two people playing the game, that means the amount of money that A has lost, which is this amount of money right here, must equal the amount of money that B has won. And that's all there is. We just have to solve the same simple equation. There is nothing to it. Very simple, very straightforward equation. We're going to do it on the top. Keep it simple, keep your work neat, it makes it easier. So here we go, I'm going to rewrite the equation, 511x, 511x has to equal half of 611, 611x plus 6. This simple equation is what we have to solve for. We see the first term here on the left hand side has a denominator of 11. The first term on the right hand side has a denominator of 2 times 11 and this one has a denominator of only 1. That won't do. It will make our life much easier if all the terms in the equation have the same denominator. If they all happen to have the same denominator, we can just ignore it because it ceases to play any role. So let's make the denominator of every single term, each and every single term in the equation, be the same denominator. Make each of them the same. And that same denominator is going to be 22, 2 times 11. 
we already have 11 here, we need to introduce 2 here so that 2 times 11 is 22. And we're going to do that by multiplying the first term by 2 over 2. So that takes care of this part. This part already has the denominator of 22. This one has a denominator of 1. Let's multiply it up and bottom by this quantity, by 22 over 22. It's, it's still 6. 6 over 1 times 22 over 22 is still 6. We haven't done anything to it because it's just 6 times 1. And that's all there is. Now everything has a denominator of 22. We can simply ignore it and concentrate on the top part and it's quite straightforward. So here we will have 2 times 5 which is 10x and that has to equal, we are told, 6 times 1 which is 6x plus 6 times 22. This is our simple equation. Subtract 6x from both sides and we find that 4x equals 6 times 22. Let's continue. Well, actually, let's not continue here. I want to keep it here. So let's squeeze in here. So therefore, x would have to, let's divide here. Let's, let's divide both sides by 4 right here. Okay, let's keep it simple. So 4 is going to go away. And x is equal to 6 times 22 over 4. Now we can reduce it. We see 6 on the top. We see 4 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. 6 will become 3. And 4 will become 2. We see 2 on the top, uh, bottom, we see 22 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 2, and it becomes 11. So we end up with 3 times 11, which is 33. What we are claiming is that, what we are claiming is that, that they started out the game with $33 each. That was the question, how much did they start out with, what was the initial amount? And we are claiming that the initial amounts were $33. Let's verify our work, shall we? Which is why we did not erase this thing here, so we are going to verify here. So this is the amount of money that A has lost, and this amount of money has to be equal to that amount of money because this is the amount of money that B has won. That is that is what we are claiming. If we introduce 33 in here in place of x, they have to be these two quantities have to be equal. 5 over 11 times x, which we are claiming is 33. 33 is going to cancel out with 11 by 3 times, and that's 15. So what we are claiming is that A has lost $15. A has lost $15. But if A has lost $15, B must have won $15. If this quantity works out to be 15, then our answer is correct. 1 half times 6 over 11 times X, which we are claiming to be 33, plus 6. This quantity here, we have 11 on the bottom, 33 on the top, that becomes 3. We have 2 on the bottom, we have 6 on the top, that becomes 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. Voila. 3 times 3, 3 times 3, plus 6 equals 15. Our answer is indeed correct. One more time, we left out. Bye now.